Your Progressive Congress APC governorship candidate in Edo State, Osage Izeyamu, has said that Governor Godwin Obaseki received 600 million naira monthly as security votes. Izeyamu claimed that the governor gives the police only 5 million naira. He spoke during a live broadcast on his Facebook page on Monday. The APC flag bearer pledged to dedicate more resources to combating insecurity. He queried the present administration's insincerity towards safeguarding lives and property. The present government has not been able to show serious commitments to security funding. Every month, the governor collects over 600 million naira as security votes and gives the police 5 million naira, not even enough to fuel vehicles, he said. Ize Yamo expressed concerns about how Edo seems to be the only state in the South South that has not made adequate investment in technology to combat crime. In this age, what is our investment in technology? Edo State might be the only state in the South South that does not have trackers that can be used to trace kidnappers. The government must show sincerity in combating crime. The candidate stress. <laughs> well, so five million naira is what a uh, is what a uh, Obaseki has been given to the police after out of six hundred million naira. So where where has he been keeping the remaining one? And also, is does it mean that uh, Ezeyam is just coming out to know the reality of what is happening? So if he can be complaining about what is happening at the state level, then what about uh, the full Esme? What about a uh, Buari? What about Boko? Of course, he's just joining them. Uh, he's not going to say anything about the one, the one, the the responsibilities and the rules of the the federal government concerning security in this country. He's not going to say that. He's just trying to bring it down home. The insecurity that has been going on in this this country. He's not going to say anything about it. But he's talking about the one happening in the two states. Of course, that is how they always come with all this rhetoric. Buari came and did the same thing. What are we seeing now? Everything is just a everything is just drama, drama, talk, talk here and there, and blame game. Now, we now know that, uh, of course, we've been hearing this kind of a thing because that is the question. We know we are saying, we are trying to look at everything or look this at this uh, look at this whole thing holistically. In as much, we are talking about uh, the submission of uh, Eze Yamu. The same thing, we are still going to be talking about the what he has said concerning Obaseki because that's the question Nigerians have been asking. You guys collect money every month, 600 million naira every month. And yet, we still have uh, this problem across board. It's not only in, in Edo State. That is the same problem. So, what will that give us assurance that even when himself comes, he's going to do anything better. He's going to do anything differently. Because this issue of Esme, he has never raised any alarm. All the things that have been happening in this in the state, he has never raised the alarm. What has been happening in the country, he has never raised the alarm. Of course, because he's coming to get a position, he's now trying to pinpoint a the errors he has he has observed coming back again to all the governors that is how they collect every month 600 million naira. you ask yourself what do they do with it if they have get this kind of money if each state you know is will be serious or if they are really serious if if each state is serious to tackle this insecurity i think it would have been minimal but what do we see is the same thing you know this uh, 600 million Naira they get as a security vote. They don't they don't account for it. So you can use it anyhow you want it. So that is another error there again. That is why this thing cannot even move forward because they they are not according to law, according to what they have stipulated. You see that a lot of things are going going wrong. And these are the things they don't want to change. Because if uh Eze Yamo wants to go with all these things, it's not gonna it's not gonna get headway because constitutionally they are not supposed to give accounts on how they spend the money. So, it's not even going to work. It's not going to work. So, what gives the people assurance that if he himself comes in, he's going to do the right thing? Because that is how they always say. That is just how they always say. They always want to get the the power. At the end of the day, what are they going to do with the power? It's, no, it's just for 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 oppression and intimidation. So, even as we are asking him also that, uh, what is he going to do differently? He has launched campaign manifesto is the yamu uh, of a uh, apc has already launched a, a manifesto performing the launch at his campaign office in Benin city pastor is yamu retreated that the 50 page document is his 
covenant with the people of a dose state which can be used to assess its performance if given the opportunity to serve as governor of the state. He further explained that his simple agenda is one that is specific, measurable, accurate, reliable, and time-bound. Meanwhile, the Federal High Court in Benin City has adjourned the trial of the All Progressive Congress candidates in the Edo governorship election of Sage Izeyamu and four others to July 14th. Mr. Sage Izeyamu is facing his counts of money laundry to the tune of 700 million naira reportedly deployed to prosecute the 2015 Edo State governorship election. Other defendants in the suit filed by the Economic and, and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC). Uh, former Deputy Governor of Edo State, Loki Imaswen, immediate past chairman of the PDP in the state, Dan Obe, and two others. At the resumption of trial on Tuesday, the first defendant, Mr. Ize Yamu, failed to appear in court due to illness. His counsel, Charles Edo Swan, presented a medical report to the court to validate his claim while hoping that his client would be in court on the adjourned days. Okay? The main thing here is that, of course, that case, that court case uh, will be will be revisited or will be attended to when the time comes. But what we are concerned about with this is that is that he has launched a campaign manifesto that, in case if if he's being given opportunity to save, that if that is what they are going to use to assess him, you know, to check his performance, you know, just like I have said, that is how they always say, that is what they always talk about. But at the end of the day. Once they get what they want, it is a different story you are going to be hearing all together. This is the type of governor we want. We don't want traitor and dictator. Not like the clueless uh, uh, man called Obaseki. You know, these people are saying, yes, this is the kind of person we really want. And um, also, from what he said, the allegation against uh, Obaseki, and someone is saying here that, since you are talking about a 600 million naira security vote monthly and he only gives a 5 million naira to the police, how much did your godfather Oshomole get when he was the governor and how much was he giving? Was he giving police? Probably you have gone to make deal with police to rig the election for you. What was, what was how, that is how you talk when you were in PDP. Okay, that's how you talk. That was how you talk when you were in PDP. Okay, my friend, go and sit down, rest and gain enough strength to face your court case tomorrow. If I hear Pim, if not for greed, what is Eze Yamu's business with the security votes <laughs> of the governor? Is it only in a do state that government, governors get security votes? If the governor was not spending on security seriously, EPM group that Eze Yamu belongs would have turned this state to a lawless state. <laughs> That's serious. Is that why you are desperate to become governor? You failed. 4 plus 4 is got to 8. And Obaseki will finish eternal. Okay. This is late news that you are bringing. It's really, really late. It's, it's out of a uh, this thing. You know, those are the things that the uh, people would have expected to be hearing even before this time around because it would have been a strong opposition uh and I think even before he joined the APC himself. And somebody said, and so what? Your principal did more than that. Obaseki will pay all the rubbish he has done. He will pay for his. That's what somebody say here. So Nigerians say, where do we belong to? Where do we stand? Who is going to rescue us from all these people? Who is going to save Nigerians from all this back and forth? Some people are somewhere smiling to the bank. Some people are laughing at the matters. You can imagine what the senators are getting. You can imagine what the governors who have served just for eight years see what they are getting. Oh, if you if you hear it or if you try to look at it or try to be thinking about it, you just be crying that what kind of injustice we are talking about. And people will tell you tell us that oh, some people who colonize us they are the one that cause our problem. So the one we are experiencing now, who is causing it? Is it the so called People who colonized us before, or the people who we are that are supposed to manage the country where they are the ones suffering us. You know, the problems are just too too many. The problems are just too too many. We are the ones even punishing ourselves. Our so-called leaders, the leaders are coming from us, not from our side. 
and yet they are treating us like this. You are going to be hearing all of this is when they are not in power. As soon as they get into power, they become demigods. Nobody will be able to talk to them. It's unfortunate. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let's have your take on this issue. Thank you.